Now let's take a look at how you can handle static assets like images in the Next.js application. Next.js can serve static assets like images under the top level public folder. Files inside this public folder can be referenced from the root of the application, similar to these pages. The public directory is also useful for robot.txt, Google site verification and any other static assets. Let's create a new folder inside this public. Let me create a new folder here and name that folder images. You can specify any name to this folder and then I'm going to put image inside it. I'm going to locally copy and paste an image inside this folder. So I'm simply going to copy and paste one image inside this images folder. Here you can notice I'm going to copy and paste the Next.js logo here inside this application. Now with regular HTML to use this image, you will add img tag with source and alt attribute. To the source, you specify the image path. This ensures that your image is responsive on different screen sizes. If you want to optimize your image, then you have to use the third party tool or the library. And if you want to load the image only for the specific viewport, then you have to do some extra work. Next.js provide an image component out of the box to, to handle this for you. Next.js image component is an extension of this HTML image. Let me just first import that right up here. So if I specify here import image from next image, then I can use this image component instead of this image. This image component is just an extension of HTML IMG element. And this is only involved for the modern web. Next.js has a support for image optimization by default. This allows for resizing, optimizing and serving images in the modern formats when the browser is supported. This image component avoids shipping large images to the device with a smaller viewport. Instead of optimizing image at build time, Next.js optimize image on demand as the user requests them. Let's take a look at how we can use this image. So instead of this IMG, we pass here image component. This image component. And now if you want, you can get rid of this closing tag and pass here forward slash. Both are identical. And inside this, you can specify different properties to it. Just like source. And inside the source, you specify the path of your image. As you know, to use image in your React application, you need to first import that locally. For example, at the top, you need to first specify import. Then specify the image name. For example, if I specify here Next.js from and then specify the image path. So you pass here double dot forward slash then specify the public folder and then specify your images and then the next.js dot png file and then you use this next.js inside this source let me get rid of this script tag let me save this now you can see you have your image in the browser but you can see we actually use the local path to import that image instead of using local path you can also use remote images to use remote images in Next.js, the source property should be the URL string, which can be relative or absolute. As I said earlier, public directory is a top level directory. Files inside this public can be referenced from the root of your application. So instead of this local images, instead of importing these images locally, we can simply specify here, single quote, and then we can specify forward slash here, images, and then specify next.js.png. Let me save this and back to the browser. Here you can see I'm going to have an error message. Unhandle runtime error. The image with source must use width and height property or layout field property. Whenever you use remote images in the Next.js application, you have to specify height or width or layout field property to this image component. Because Next.js does not have access to the remote files during the build process, you will need to provide width and height manually. So just out of this source, here we pass width, which is 300 and height is going to be 300. Now let me save the changes back to the browser and you can see I'm going to have my image. In Next.js, images are lazy loaded by default. One of the ways that images most commonly hurt performance is through layout shifting, where the image push other elements around the page as it loads in. 
this performance problem is so annoying to the users that it has its own core web vital called cumulative layout shift. The way to avoid image based layout shift is to always size your image. This allows the browser to reserve precisely enough space for the images before it loads. Next.js solve this problem with image optimization and with height and with property. Or implicitly you can use layout fill which can causes the image to expand to fill its parent element. In some cases, if you are accessing image from the source without knowledge of image size, there are several things you can do. You can specify layout fill property to it, normalize your image or modify your API calls. Let me show you how you can use the first step. So instead of width and height, you specify layout fill. The fill layout mode allows your image to be resized by its parent element. So the size of the parent element will be considered the size of this image. Let me save these changes back to the browser and you can see the size of the parent element will be the size of the image. So you're going to have the result something like this. Now I hope you understand how you can work with image component in Next.js. Next, we will look at how you can work with CSS in Next.js.